Hi there guys, welcome to Rank Rhino. Fans love imagining wild theories about their favorite films, and most of the time, they're just that, fan theories. On occasion, some fans produce an idea that's actually a bit too believable and plausible. Whenever a fan theory like that appears, the movie's plot becomes even more intriguing as you can now view it from an entirely new, outlandish perspective. Now, we're not saying that any of the fan theories in this video are true, we haven't made the movies after all. Still, let's all just imagine that there might be a grain of truth to these creative fan concepts just for enjoyment's sake. We're starting off with the theory that James Bond is a Time Lord. Audiences don't really give much thought to James Bond being played by multiple actors across the years and his face changing. We simply embrace him as a timeless character that gets rebooted every few movies. Well, what if him changing his face actually made sense? What if he was part of an alien race that changed its body every so often? That's exactly the premise of this fan theory, which states that James Bond is a Time Lord from the Doctor Who universe, much like the Doctor himself. Now, Time Lords don't just die. When they get severely injured, they regenerate into a different form that has a different face and personality. This theory also explains why every face is called James Bond. This is just a human name that the alien badass assumes to blend in. Additionally, both the Doctor and Bond have a similar lifestyle in which they fight to save the world all the time. And they both have an odd affinity for the UK. Why, because I'm not wearing a lab coat? Because you still have spots. In our fourth spot, we have the theory that Sandy dies at the beginning of Greece. Musicals are no strangers to odd, unrealistic concepts, and Greece is no exception to this rule. The movie features some unusual scenes, like in its final moments, when Sandy and Danny's car flies into the clouds. Fans have found a way to explain all of the unrealistic moments, and it's actually a pretty chilling theory. According to fans, at the beginning of the film, when Danny recounts saving Sandy from nearly drowning, he doesn't actually save her, and he's just fooling himself. Thus, the film's plot and her romance with Danny were all a figment of her oxygen-starved brain's imagination. The ending of the film, when she and Danny ascend into the clouds, is explained as her ascending into the heavens as she finally drowns. This is a pretty sinister theory, but it does make the movie much more intriguing. I'm so glad you didn't take any of the crap, Sonny. You would've really told her off, huh? <laughs> Our next entry features the movie Us and a secret switcheroo. Jordan Peele loves making movies that spark crazy fan theories. His 2019 hit movie Us has a premise that's pretty insane by itself, with it featuring a mirror society called the Tethered right beneath our feet. At the end of the movie, it's confirmed that the main protagonist, Adelaide, is actually one of the Tethered, as she abducted her mirror image when they were children and switched places with her. Now, there's a fan theory that states she isn't the only one who was switched around. According to fans online, her son Jason is also a tethered from the start of the film. What makes people think that? Well, for starters, when the family is on vacation, Jason is seen making tunnels on the beach, not unlike the tunnels occupied by the tethered. But okay, not every kid loves making sandcastles, what else? Well, the biggest clue is the ending of the movie when Jason exchanged a smile with his mother and immediately puts his mask on. Number 2 is John Wick being a Matrix training program. With the fourth entry in the John Wick series released recently, this theory is quite relevant. There are plenty of theories stating that the John Wick movies take place in the Matrix universe, probably because of Keanu Reeves, but still, there's an even more insane theory stating that John Wick is the name of a training program. Apparently, the program is engineered with the idea of Neo learning the ways of combat, and we're simply witnessing him improving his fighting skills. Considering that Lawrence Fishburne is part of the John Wick movies, this theory makes way too much sense. The civilians in the movie are seemingly ignorant to all of the action and assassinations happening around them, and the John Wick universe uses a single coin-based monetary system, something that's way too typical for a simplistic virtual reality. Considering how superhuman and fast-paced the combat in John Wick is, this theory makes more sense than the movie being placed in the real world. Evening, John. Evening, Jimmy. And number one, Jack in Titanic is secretly a time traveler. Yeah. Due to the timeline discrepancies in Titanic, such as Jack knowing about Lake Wissota and the Santa Monica coaster, two things that didn't exist back when the ship sunk, many fans theorize that Jack Dawson is actually a time traveler. 
According to fan theories, he traveled to the past to ensure the Titanic sank and that Rose survived the disaster. There's a lot of information that backs up these claims and not just him referencing places that are yet to exist. For starters, there are no historical records of Jack Dawson existing. He also knows that Rose won't die on the ship and correctly predicts how and when she'll die, well, if we believe that she dies at the end of the film. Last but not least, fans believe that it's no coincidence the director, James Cameron, also directed the first two Terminator films, movies known for their time travel related plots. Heck, some believe that Rose is an ancestor to Sarah Connor and that Jack is actually a Terminator robot. I work my way from place to place, you know, tramp steamers and such. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Do you have an insane film theory that you probably wouldn't share in regular conversation? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more trivia videos and lists related to pop culture. Thank you again and see you next time.